Hello and welcome back to yet another speed build in The Sims 4. This one a little bit different. Uh, I wanted to do something that was, well, pretty much realistic to what you see uh, around the UK, which is obviously where I am from. Uh, I wanted to do sort of a semi-detached house. I, I, I don't want to say council house because obviously a lot of them aren't council houses, but you do see these sort of um, houses on like estates and stuff like that. Uh, but some of them can be really nice, you know. Uh, <laughs> some of them aren't. Uh, some of them do look really good. And I thought I would try and create one in The Sims 4, which was quite difficult, really. Not as easy as I thought it would be. I did actually try this a few years ago. Um, one of the reasons was I found a way to... Obviously, eaves in the, in the game, on this roof type here, uh, eaves didn't you didn't have the ability to pull them down to, to extend them but I found a way of doing that and I thought the perfect way to do it was to create a house like this in um, in the game and I did do that I obviously didn't record it or anything like that it was just a, something for me to play around with and I can't find it anywhere so I thought eh screw it let's do it let's do it again do another one so yeah this is what I am doing uh, I do actually reduce the size of the house because they are huge and they're not this big um, they're not perfect in the sort of the scaling and stuff like that but I tried my best and I do like how they turned out so basically the theming for them is one of the houses is a a couple who I, I like to put stories to build so one of them is a couple who don't have any kids or if they do have kids they've moved out and the other one is a single mom or dad with um, two kids, a teenager and a toddler. Just because I like that having that different dynamic um, within the build because you can clearly see from the outside that one is one and one is the other. So I do move the lot as well again, I did that on the last speed build but I just sometimes I, I can't sort of think I'd rather go too big than too small and obviously that previous one was you know it wasn't the right area so but this one yeah I do move it because the gardens were just too big they're not you, you wouldn't get a garden this big on a house like these and um, the, the one on the right hand side uh, has an, an extension on the side of it which is an extension to the bathroom of the house and um, which I do um, I, do, I like and I have seen that in, in houses like these in real life um, so yeah i tried having them like in that brick pattern which you do see a lot but then i thought no because they tend to get rendered um because it's cheap quick easy so it just gets done and i wanted one house to obviously have a nice smooth render and the other one to be sort of a bit more rough and a bit more near i actually switched them around because the left hand side is the house with the family obviously they're busy they've got kids they haven't got time to, to look after the, the garden and the outside of the house they're not they're that bothered about it but the other couple obviously with no kids um i, I see them as sort of like adults um reaching elder the, the theming in the house is quite different like the upstairs to the downstairs the upstairs feels more traditional the downstairs feels more contemporary and um, i did that kind of on purpose i wanted that i feel like places where you don't people obviously aren't going to see like bedrooms and stuff like that it doesn't really matter what they look like so i feel like that they would have that styling true to themselves but downstairs you know they're trying to impress people they want people to think oh this house is lovely so they, they make it more contemporary more modern so i'm doing that right now i mean it, it changes a lot anyway like the color scheme completely changes but like the general idea is is put in this house here i wanted to go very very run down on the inside but then i thought no i don't want to add like i don't want to have that like oh, stereotype of Obviously, because I've said, you know, this house, you see them a lot on the stairs, stuff like that, which is true. Um, I don't want to add, like, stereotypes and say the rundown and stuff like that, because, like I said, you can get rid of the nice ones. So, yeah, uh, it, it, they're both nice houses. Uh, the, the one with the family is more cluttered, I would say. This, this um, the couple house is a lot cleaner, a bit clinical, really. The upstairs isn't, like I said, I wanted to keep that sort of tradi traditional more traditional anyway not not completely traditional because it's not also i'm sorry how dark it is right now i didn't really think oh i need to put lights in until like i think i do it in a minute because i did notice like while i was doing it, like this is really dark <laughs> uh but yeah uh like i said i do like how it turned out i i can't remember how the the first version of this was but i remember i was quite proud of it and i thought it did look quite good but i think this is the same uh, it's good for what I, what I was going for. I feel like a lot of 
people when they build in Sims 4 or Sims 3 or any of them, it tends to be very American style houses. Like when you know you look look for like house plans and stuff like that online, and a lot of them are American houses because British houses are small. They're usually terraced. So I wanted to try that and obviously do a semi-detached. I think that's what they're called. Semi-detached house. So yeah, that's two together in it. Uh, with decent sized guys and stuff, I've been nothing crazy. I can't think if I've moved. No, I haven't moved it yet. Uh, yeah, so this basically is how this living room turns out. I'm not a huge fan of the fact that the chimney breast was like lopsided, it was to one side, so I made it smaller, as you can see there. But even still, like, there's no real nice placement for like the sofa and stuff like that without even a big gap. But I thought it doesn't matter. If there's a gap or not like people do have that in their houses um this is where i've moved a lot so when i want a different size so yeah I, I don't i think that i was trying to go for more realistic anyway so and i do think that, that people do have the houses like these so yeah uh I, I really did like i started this build a few days ago i actually lost a lot of inspiration i was just like i can't think of how to do it i don't know what to do blah blah blah, blah. and then today i was like right this is it i'm gonna do it we're gonna get it done, um, and I did it, so that's obviously good. Um, how it turns out, I guess, isn't up to me to, to, to judge. I mean, I'm obviously gonna like it, I built it, so <laughs> I'd let other people decide. So, yeah, um, this living room, I wanted it to be quite basic. I didn't want it to be anything incredibly amazing, so I used the basic sort of base game couches that we got, but I put them in that new texture with the sorry the new swatch with a bit of texture on it and stuff like that and i wanted to use a square table just because they're so nice they're such nice tables we need some more we need some plain ones i know that sounds boring but we really do really need plain ones i wanted to put some shelves in as well i did want to use the the plain um is it black oh my god i think it was black or white I can't, oh, it was white, wasn't it? Yeah, plain black, plain white shelf. I wanted to use that, but I thought I wanted to match the flooring and the because obviously there's like a wood colour in this living room that is they're all the same, like that darkish wood. So I thought, oh, I can't really add white, so yeah, it doesn't matter. And I, I wanted to add a uh, a computer because it's like a family computer, so everyone gets to use it. And <laughs> I feel like the parent would keep an eye on the kids on that computer because you don't know what kids are on computers these days <laughs> or ever really. So, yeah, this is a room, I'm pretty, I pretty much leave it as, as it is now. Uh, I think I had a bookshelf at the front as well, right towards the end, because I couldn't think of anything to go in the alcove. Uh, it's not an alcove, the bay, the, the bay window place. I couldn't think of anything to go in there, but then I eventually decide. But that's right towards the end. Yeah, there's not many items that go on shelves in this game. We need some more, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, f I felt like... Going for that rundown look didn't really work because I feel like a lot of items in Sims 4 are quite sleek and contemporary and you don't get many like rundown items basically so it was difficult. Obviously we've got a few items in City Living which were dirty and, and, and stuff like that but they didn't really, I don't know, there's just not enough so I decided to obviously as well as not want it to go back down the stereotypical route I didn't want to just because it wouldn't have looked good so I thought I'll stick with having a nice sort of simple family home obviously I went with the um, parenthood kitchen because it's lovely I love it it's probably my favorite kitchen style in the, probably in any game that we've ever had I found that Sims 3 and Sims 2 kitchens were absolutely awful Obviously, Sims 3 had the benefit of being able to change it to whatever texture you want, but there you go, that's that's just how it is. I also wanted to add a mirror to this kitchen because I felt like it would open the space up because it is quite small. Even though like it's a decent sized kitchen, it's also a dining room. To open it up, shove a mirror in, everyone knows that. Uh, simple. So I I think I was thinking about what to put there, but I still couldn't decide. <laughs> uh, I had trouble with the the paintings and stuff oh, I needed to add stuff to the wall just because it was too simple it was just too simple but I couldn't figure out what that was so that's another thing that I come back at the end and change and um, I do move on to I think the bathroom and the upstairs of this house next Um the bathroom I wanted to go with something a little bit different I don't really know if it works I haven't actually tested it so if it doesn't I guess I'll have to change it but 
I wanted to add the toilet inside like a cabinet because you do get them in real life where the, it's sort of like one system altogether. Very, very small bathroom, but that's all what it, the like in this house. That wallpaper, well it's not wallpaper, it's paint. That paint on that wall, I actually accidentally used it in the other house as well in the two bathrooms and I don't change it in the video, but it will be changed in the screenshots just because I realised while editing this that, <laughs> that they all had the same and I feel like that wouldn't be very realistic if every single bathroom in the two houses had the same wallpaper. So both houses do have two bathrooms because families usually do and also I feel like that in the other house with the couple they would have sort of like a guest bathroom which was downstairs and then their bathroom which is upstairs so yeah I, I, I just felt like that was a good addition so I decided to do it um, quite simple bathrooms really I don't I don't think like there's anything exciting you can really do with them I want to start doing like custom showers and stuff like that but we need a backless shower for the game which we did, I think we got that in, in Sims 2 that came with the uh, University Pack. I can't remember what it came in in Sims 3, but both games definitely had it. So I think that we should definitely have it. So uh, That cut there, that was when I lost inspiration. I did actually build more into that this front bedroom. It was originally going to be a child's bedroom. Uh, unisex stand. I didn't really know which gender to, to do it for so um, but I decided against that because I'm gonna do a toddler room as well and I felt like if I'm doing a toddler room I might as well not do a kids room as well plus I was being too ambitious I was trying to do bunk beds first of all sims can't sleep in the beds when they're raised up and second of all it looked terrible so I was like I can't do this this is terrible so I went with a teenage girl room I know it's super easy because of all like the clutter and stuff like that but I just felt like it would be the best for this for this family like I imagine like a let's play in this like uh, a, a parent I'm gonna say a mum because there's the room is more feminine than the parent room uh, a mum with two kids you know the, the father's out the picture of his dad or he's just left or whatever and she struggles because teenage girls are horrible and toddlers are obviously horrible too so <laughs> not easy for her so you know we, we'll I mean I when, on my, one of my previous builds, the family house, I actually did play in the house myself with some sims and this is another one that I could see myself doing that. Obviously we've got the problem of you can't have two separate families in the same build, even though that would be amazing if you could, please add that in. Yes. But obviously, it's, you could still make it where you know you could just have one family and lock the other house down or you could have, have the two families in there but obviously separate them by locking doors, stuff like that. I don't know, I, I wanted to do this this build just because I find it quite interesting to have the, the, the two homes on one lot anyway. Obviously I wanted to do a British style home and also, I don't know, I, I just felt like it could be a good, you know, playthrough opportunity for me or whoever else wanted to, to look at the house and stuff like that. So I don't know if I'm making any sense here, I'm just kind of rambling a little bit, but I know what I mean, I'm, I'm, I know what I mean. So. I don't know, you, you don't see many builds that have more than one house in them. Although you do see a lot with the... Oh, I can't think what they're called. They're really tall houses. Town... not townhouses. Is that what they're called? I don't know. That that city-style, narrow house, you get a lot of them on the, on the gallery and stuff to view. I do like that, I might have to do one of them as well. I suppose this is sort of like that, they're just... They're a lot... larger, I would say, because them narrow houses they just have no space in them. I've been in them in real life as well and they're just like whoa claustrophobic but yeah I know that this style of house was built after the war they were literally thrown up um, built after the war for obviously it was a, there was a demand for housing so they just built loads of these houses and yeah you can kind of tell like a lot of the features in them are quick get it up as soon as possible anyway moving on from that this bedroom is obviously for a female toddler I would say I mean you could put a male toddler in it but it's I catered it to what more towards female uh, originally it was like that peach color but I changed it to that pink uh, just because it just didn't look right so yeah 
Uh, that's where I had the bookshelf and the paintings. Well, this is where I had the paintings to the wall. Just go with the classics because there was nothing else I could really think of. Uh, change the colour scheme for this room to red instead of blue and change the brown walls to more of a cream. Well, it means it's still brown, but it's like a lighter brown. Um, I needed an accent colour because it just looked terrible. I just couldn't couldn't do it. <laughs> it just looked dull. It was boring with that blue. It needed a, a bright pop of colour. Uh, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of that massive space in between in between the TV and the surface and stuff, but what can you do? I couldn't add anything there. It, there was no other way of doing this room without completely overhauling the design, which I didn't want to do. So I just added a few accessories and left it. I mean, clean, clean and contemporary Houses don't have a lot of clutter in them, and this is what I was going for for this house. So, uh, I wanted to go a bit crazy with the tiles in this one. I've, I never used these tiles in my life. I believe they're from the Vampires, Vampire game pack. Never used them, but I absolutely love them now. They're amazing. They're just so... I don't know, there's something about them that I really like. I feel like even though they're quite traditional, they're also really modern. Like, almost like ironically modern, which I don't know if that makes sense, but that's the sort of feeling I'm going with. Uh, so, obviously, as I said, this wallpaper changes. It changes to, I believe the downstairs one changes to a light blue. Upstairs one changes to yellow. I mean, no, other way around. Downstairs one's yellow, upstairs one's light blue. The yellow one, I love it. It's crazy. It's, it's really, really nice. I really like it. Really bright and a bit OTT, but sometimes that's what you need in your life. So, yeah, you'll see that in the screenshots. That's not in the video, unfortunately. Um, the upstairs, as I did say at the towards the start, is more traditional. Um, the sort of like the furniture and stuff, and the wallpaper and everything is different, completely different to the rest of the well, to the downstairs area. I don't know. I'm trying to justify it by saying like it, you know, it's someone's personal opinion. Blah blah blah. They don't want to show it off to people, so they can have it as however they like. I just feel like that this couple is getting on years, and so. They have this taste, but the downstairs, they're trying to show off. That's simple. That's all. That's, that's what I'm going with, anyway. This, this, that's my justification. Uh, I really like doing that mirror. Uh, I also realised I forgot to finish the inside of that mirror, like, wardrobe area. So, I, I'll obviously, I've gone back and done that now. Um, and I changed the colour scheme in this room a little bit as well. I couldn't really... It wasn't working with the white. And then... I was like, I like the grey, so I change everything to sort of like, like a grey hue over the white. And I do add a bit of black in there, but it's not even like this. It changes again. <laughs> I really like this bed though. Bed's really nice. Um, I have to use it more. I don't, don't think I've used it that much. It is very fancy. It's like a very fancy, a rich person bed, I would say. Yeah, I do like that. I would like to have that more in gameplay. I wanted the, the dressing table as well. Even though there is a mirror, I wanted the dressing table because I just feel like richer people have this. And I'm sort of like stereotyping a little bit. Like this couple with no children. Oh, they're obviously rich. They've got loads of money. They've got a nice, clean, sophisticated house for that. I don't know. That's just what I'm going with. I don't mean to like stereotype people. Obviously, if you have kids, you might not like this style. But if you don't have kids, you might not like this style. <laughs> yeah. Bathroom is similar to the one downstairs. I, did, I didn't go crazy because they're, they're simple. They're, they're not used for very much. You just go to them. And obviously bit. Yeah, so... I did originally want to go with a red-themed bathroom, but it just wasn't working at all. I did not like it in the slightest. So I used them tiles again up here. Um, like I said, this does change. It's just not kept like this, just because it, it would be really weird if they all had the same colour. So, yeah. um, the bedroom, the second bedroom, which is this back one that I'm about to start now, is, I would say, guest bedroom, if anything. Uh, it's not specifically for anyone. Well, I guess it could be. But it's, I wanted it as a guest bedroom, and it's very bland, and there's not much going on, which I think, obviously, I did that on purpose. It caters towards that guest feel. Um... It feels untouched, like people don't live there, like there's no clutter items, there's like a few lamps and stuff like that, but other than that, nothing. It's very, very bland. It doesn't even have a computer on the desk. I felt like the desk was more for writing and stuff like that. 
But I guess a, I guess a computer could be added because it could be sort of like a, like a study slash guest bedroom, but I'm not sure. There's also a computer downstairs, so I guess, you know, it, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to have that. Maybe it's, maybe it could be good for, like, um, homework and stuff like that. Wait, no, it couldn't be homework because there's no kids up there. I don't know. It's for something. Um, this was difficult, I would say. I wanted to add streaks in the lawn at the front. It didn't really work. There's not really good colours. So I ended up just leaving it and putting some flowers and stuff. I wanted, obviously, the lawn on this side to be very crisp, very nice. You know, have some flowers, some plants, and then the other side to be abs an absolute wreck. Like, to be gross. <laughs> Which it does, and it is. It just turned out to be very, very gross. Yeah, I, w I used um, these plant things from Vampire Game Pack. Uh, I didn't, don't end up using these this long grass in the front garden, but I do use it in the back garden. Um, you, do you know what? Like, I didn't realise how many like terrain paints there actually is in this game. I didn't think there was as many as there was. So, yeah, I feel like a good exploration of that would be good. Um, I want to do a build that like uses the the terrain tools as well, which because I haven't really utilised them that well at the moment, not yet anyway. So, but yeah, this this back garden area. I mean, I'm not massively happy with it. I wanted it to be messy and a bit gross, which it, it is. It does turn out to be like that way. And the other one, I kind of took the easy route with the other one, and I did a pool. Obviously, most bridge houses don't have pools in them. This one does because they're fancy. They've got loads of money. They don't have to spend it on children. <laughs> and this is where I swapped around the the wallpapers. So, yeah, I wanted to add a tree to the garden as well because most family homes have trees in the garden. Yeah, and this is where I use that tall grass just, just to give a bit of a bit of texture to it, a bit of 3D. And I had the pool here as well. Um, I struggled with like the size, I didn't really know what to do, but then I did that and I thought, no, there's too much, there's too much concrete going around it, so I reduced the amount. And I had a little seating area, just a small one, it's nothing special. I'm not the best with landscaping and stuff like that. It's not my forte at all. I much prefer interior and like obviously the, the house exterior design, like architecture type thing. Over landscaping, not my favorite thing. Um, but yeah, so that's it. And these are the screenshots. So enjoy. Uh, thank you for watching and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I will be doing more builds and I've got a special build coming up as well which I'm very excited about so yes I'll see you next time and thank you for watching.